Uh, welcome to No Man's Sky and uh, today I think we are going to uh, we will not do board missions but we will you know master the portal network so this is a little bit exciting because this involves the portal network so uh, um so yeah uh, in summary yesterday what we did was uh, we uh, finished some tasks for the mercenary skill oh no uh, the merchant skill uh, and then after that we received another quest called 16 over 16 and it's the master the portal network so i think we have to speak to now and uh, we have to look at the whole terminus which is wait uh let's see maybe we can yeah let's um board the space for up and then uh, use the scanner and let's check whether we can find the whole terminus but yeah, there we go there you go, finally, uh, there's a holo terminus. You can use the holo terminus to speak to Null. Null is, you know, a robotic person, a robot that, you know, we can speak to. True the holo terminus so it's like a uh, uh, holo terminus is a way to uh, speak to some you know uh, life forms in the form of um, hologram they will appear as in you know, a hologram So now let's uh, activate the holographic comms tower then speak to now. So let's uh, tune to now. So if ever you haven't you know seen now, now it looks like uh, yeah creepy robot so let's talk him uh, well then tell me what you saw tell me what you learned uh, tell now what you discovered uh, tell now what you discovered I tell now all that I have learned of the Viking crusade against the sentinels how they nearly succeeded only to take the barbarism of the Gek. First spawn, draw the sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Corvax was destroyed by the Gek. The survivors enslaved or melted down. For years, the Corvax stole beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek, I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Corvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn gay. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. 
a few signals switch in the brain uh, as what now knows mm. evolution of the impulse to war well let's ask what that means I was born to travel to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies, they were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all, there were too many, so I did what I had to do, I survived in the face of eternity. So all the worlds of my universe returned to the Atlas, I told them what I had done, I asked if it was proud of me. It laughed at me, I am sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler just like me. I was not special, I was not unique. Things I had to do to get here, the things I had to become, none of it mean a thing. Listen, I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The walls between worlds are falling and that's bad for everyone. That's uh, why. All I know is this the Atlas had infinity to work with, and with few exceptions, this triad repeats. Ge uh, Gekorvax, Viking, Gekorvax, Viking. Traders, warriors, scientists, all their stories ending in violence. Think about it how would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life, it would create whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas, it is screaming. The only way it knows how. That's what can be done. Now it won't speak to me anymore. Uh, it won't, it's chosen instead after all I did it after. I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about this universe. We are who we are, but you, whether because of some soul, because of simulation, it doesn't matter. Why won't it speak to me? Why aren't I enough? Uh, now, channel begins to falter. Their hologram beginning to fade. And they are disconnecting from the whole terminus. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo signal emerges. So it's a duo, but yeah, it's not an Apollo, but let's see what Apollo will tell us. And I think we're dying, so wait. Oh, wait. What can we do for the hazard protection? Well, let's just. Talk to the guy first. Uh, traveler, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Where are you? I'm sending my holo terminus. Let's trade location. Let's meet and get off this world. So we need Apollo. Share coordinates. I share my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. Uh, there must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place, we are communicating using the same holo terminus. We try again, but still the results are the same. The world is silent, <clears throat> but for our voices. What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? Uh, so you don't know. As we speak, I receive a distressing signal. It's language, my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone. Uh, tune to Apollo. The holo terminus is showing. Are you receiving? Uh, let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal. Broadcasting from the same location on their own world. We agree to go and find the source of these uh, distress beacons perhaps. We will continue this discussion when we get there. Now we are going to meet Apollo and continue the 16 over 16 quest. So let's see where Apollo is.
So let's uh, find the source signal. What is this? It's a crash uh, ship. So it's uh, we take out, uh, it'll, it will take us around 12 minutes. So let's head off and then use the hyperdrive. Let's use the hyperdrive to, you know, go to the site easily. Almost there. Uh, let's see. Well, I hope this is a uh, well, like we can fix the ship and then you know it offers more storage capacity and it's an exotic one or yeah let's not expect anything sorry about that what the hell Let's see. I thought the push the landing button, but now. Well, it's on the other side of the cliff, so. <laughs> Might as well just. Go on and fly on the other side. Well, let's see what this ship can offer, or is this just for the quest? It has 21 slots. Maybe we can compare. We have. Oh, we are using a 31 slotted spacecraft, so yeah. I think we only need to activate this one. Uh, there is no sign of Apollo, so yeah. I think that you read the first uh, paragraph, but. Let's play back log. I have given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I cannot accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It is best for everyone. The audio clicks, uh, time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. 
Uh, the sound cuts out as it does. My vision bleeds red. A headache spitting through my mind. The screen. It shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. Uh, I so pray. Uh, yeah, try to access the day. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I received the glimpse for a portal. I see it now with every waking breath. I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. So, uh, so we we finally found uh, the portal ley line location. I think that's where the portal is located. So let's see whether there really is a portal in that location. It's 25 minutes, so yeah, let's try this again. Well, nobody wants to write 25 minutes just by, you know, going here. So the portal is, oh, what is this, let's go up again and see whether you know, we can use the hyperdrive again to go here easily. But so yeah, that's from 20 minutes down to like less than 20 seconds. I'm a little bit excited because we will be, you know, um, seeing a portal again. This is our second time. The first one is, you know, going through uh, the location of uh, Atlas and now this one. We still don't know where this one will lead us, but yeah, let's try. The portal looks like uh, it's just a stone. Oh, wait. Read many carvings on it. Let's see, oh my god. So yeah, so this is the portal. I hope we can like use it then because yeah, we need to like go to a different place. So let's see, uh, tribute to or or the Azure, so this is the portal, it's been a long time since we saw one, so what we need to do is just charge the portal bit. So in order to like charge this, you really need to have like all the uh, resources needed to charge the portal. So we use Resonite, oh my god, uh, let's use Platinum, so it's fully charged, so yeah, that's high energy, so 
Uh, Traveler Anomaly Confirmed Breach Approach the portal I think of my travel so far The decisions that I have made in my long journey I found two travelers One who wanted to meet others of their kind And one who just seemed to care about their own life Apollo walked through the portal and survived Though we could not find each other And Artemis I saved Artemis from death by putting them into a simulated world told them where they were and for that no doubt they hate me but it was only right all should know who they truly are i do not know if i was right to do what i did i do not know what i have become as a result of my actions the atlas awaits me should i choose to step through input clips uh, i step forward the gateway hums There you go, uh, we activated uh, the portal and let's see whether we can use this this the last time I think this is our third time the second one was you know I think we did not activate it so I think we're ready let's go in and then Oh, we're not floating in space. Uh, this is creepy. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Are we floating in space? Oh my god, this is creepy. So yeah. I hope we did not die in the process, but uh, so let's uh, talk to the Atlas first, and then let's activate the lights uh, later. Uh, Unity of a burn. Uh, it is the same terminal I faced uh, before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Uh, say hello. An audio, an audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. And they said you've been displaying aberrant behavior, that you have been questioning things, raising issues of purpose of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. Uh, initiate personality interface what is going to wipe the system uh, now uh, reality fades everything does uh, something is wrong something is different uh, yeah scream Atlas shows me the Gek, the Parvax, the Viking it shows me all of them in an instant all of those who had ever lived shows me the pattern, the design, the atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe with those uh, graphical interface. Let's submit. The atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. Uh, I feel anger. What it is to me who brought me into this world, fooled me, who left me alone and cut adrift. Everything a lie, everything a betrayal. I think of how the Corvals altered the minds of the Gek. How they forced them to become good. I think of Nadis machine. How I felt towards the simulation I feel, I feel I am not myself. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler, did my world species you? Uh, they do. Uh, what do you think you are? Uh, a traveler? 
you are an explorer of all I have created do you believe you are real uh, yes how are you capable of belief if you are not real how are you capable of choice I will let you die right now if you wish it do you wish it uh, maybe later <laughs> This guy, the Gek were traders defined by greed. The Viking were warriors defined by anger. The Corvals were scientists defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to, I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what the travelers would become. Receive judgment. Did I do something wrong? You saved the life of Traveler, Artemis, and told them the truth of their simulated nature, believing self-knowledge to be worth more than any pain this revelation might cause. Traveler, uh, Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You value knowledge, interfere, you have the potential to commit atrocities and wonders. The atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a functional, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. 16. Uh, catastrophic system failure alert uh, 16 uh, gibberish and then 16 <laughs> what I am what am I seeing 16 minutes of operational time remaining uh, fragmentation imminent data upload in uh, what is this place is it real what the hell is happening <laughs> Extreme gravitational event, uh, backup generators 19845 failing, data upload in. It is dying, the Atlas is dying, it cries out at me afraid. What? The Atlas is dying? I see it, I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface, it is at the heart of every galaxy screaming. Trying to purge itself of errors, it does not want to die, but it has so few tools and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if. Uh, I do nothing. We are at peace. What is happening to... So what happens? That's creepy though. First, Atlas is a very scary entity. And then we enter the portal and then end up floating in space. I don't know what happened, but yeah. At least we teleported back to the Atlas, and now we are in a very strange planetary system with four planets and two moons. Dominant life form get. So, yeah, this is, you know, so there you go. And now we will need to walk back to our starship. Uh, wait. Can we like, oh yeah, there you go. Cannot launch a starship damage. So I think we need to walk 9 minutes.
So let's see. Let's uh, eight minutes. Well, uh, short-term memory loss, but did we activate the terminal? Let's see. Oh no, yeah. We have to activate the terminal first. Short-term memory loss, but yeah. No, I don't have memory activating the terminal. So yeah. That's far. Oh my god. Nine minutes it happened to our spacecraft. Yeah, needs. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I think we are in trouble. Uh, wait. Uh, hazard. Well, we have tamium, upper hazard. We need uh, zinc, titanium, shielding shard, tamium, power gel, power canister. So, yeah, let's see. Well, we need zinc. So let's gather zinc because the environment is deadly like you know it's too hot and our life support is going down so in order to in order to survive we need to like gather some minerals first and then
So we're almost there, but yeah. Let's charge our life support. So yeah, there you go. So we will uh, arrive at our starship in less than two minutes. But yeah, wait. Let's let's check whether we can still gather some items. But yeah, I think our life support is enough. Oh yeah, there you go. Our uh, spacecraft is here, so... So let's see. So, yeah. Now we have nano clusters and... Let's see whether our spacecraft is intact. If not, we will be spending some resources just to fix this one well let's see um, launch thruster critically damaged oh, there, there, uh, there you go so yeah we need for I feel as if I am going to be sick uh, resist try to resist but the bile rises within as I am about to throw up a voice speaks to me from my exosuit, my illness disappears. Uh, panic response, countermeasure, purge, neutralize. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, uh, warning me of hazardous conditions, uh, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange uh, sense, this uh, voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin ask you what you should do no well, remain silent I don't say anything but to have even thought the thought it makes me smile I was born with the capacity to do so many things I would have liked to live longer if I could have A brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. Uh, the multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. So yeah, let's fix the launch stressors first. Let's see if we can build, uh, I mean, craft some 
uh, red sheet so yeah there you go need iron Let's see how we can fix the launch thrusters. The most important thing, I mean, part of the starship. So let's see uh, what's going to happen. Alert other travelers to the fate of the Atlas, locate a whole terminus. So let's. Use the launch thrusters and then scan the area. There you go. Let's have to be the whole terminus. Now we are going to scream out loud and alert the other travelers. But where is it located? Ah, uh, oh yeah. It's not located here, it's located on the other planet. But first, let's let's see whether Mega can we like. I want to use the scanner and then you know oh yeah there you go unknown moon let's see flourishing moon so how about the main planet Radiated planet, uh, a known moon, moon of Dukun and Taj, or whatever that is. So, uh, for second moon, so let's go here. So let's go to the let's go up So let's activate the solo holographic comms tower. Uh, the terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Uh, attempt broadcasts 
Yeah, let's attempt broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I have learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails, though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation. The time has come to make peace and say goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I finish my message not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world wondering how much might be left to discover how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. So what's next? What the quest is the purge. Uh, reset the simulation. I have faced the Atlas once more. I do not know how to process what I have learned. The Atlas is everywhere because we are all part of the Atlas. It is a machine, a simulation. We have no meaning beyond it. But the machine is being destroyed. Something is happening to the Atlas. I can feel it. Uh, pulling me towards the center of the galaxy to some great cleansing. Uh, progress towards the galactic center, uh, towards the galactic core, and uh, the final atlas interface. Wow. So the final atlas interface is in the center of the galaxy. So let's see whether we can, you know. We can accomplish this in a short period of time. I mean, short period. So, yeah. Let's see. Carbon. I would have thought we are missing carbon. So let's progress towards the galactic center. I think we did this. Uh, we tried using the black hole uh, to uh, go uh, to the center of the galaxy. So let's see what's going to happen. So yeah, there's a communicator. Let's enter. I'm expecting this. So yeah. Uh, pre uh, priest, <laughs> press, priest, entity, Ned, the traveler, friend. Uh, we came as soon as we heard. Please enter the anomaly. Paulo will make tea. It is not safe in your universe. And communication. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, like, oh my god. Uh, 